Today we're attempting Helvellyn via the infamous Striding Edge. That was the worst bit. That was quite scary for us, that air. I keep hearing big things about this route. And today I want to see how challenging it actually is. So far over here in the UK, I did Kribgoch, Triffin North Ridge and Bristley Ridge and the Carnmore Deer Garret. In my personal opinion, I found Triffin North Ridge and Bristley Ridge to be the hardest, physically. But that's not to say that the other ones were easy. I just feel like there can be a lot of hype about a certain route and that hype usually revolves around exposure aka how big the drop is today i want to see if striding edge is worth the hype yeah! <laughs> viv's back in action by the way her hips feeling better i don't know what this is gonna say about this route but the first thing you're testing your hip on now is the infamous striding edge To also back up all of that big talk from earlier, I'm gonna set myself a challenge today and that is to stick to the middle of the ridge for as long as I can. So Viv, how long have you been out of action for? Six weeks. Uh, I have been doing my glute exercises. What's your confidence out of 10 for doing this today? Uh, five probably actually. She's always so modest. I give her a nine out of 10. Unless some sort of bee comes on the middle of the ridge and starts <laughs> relentlessly attacking her or, or lightning. <laughs> lightning. A few stats about this mountain. It's the third highest in England at 950 meters. What we're gonna be doing is a circular route, a horseshoe over two ridges actually, over striding edge first, and then onto another ridge called Swirl Edge. Far sides of the ridge. Injuries are a tricky thing. At some point, your mind is gonna tell you that you shouldn't do certain activities because it still hurts or you still have a niggling pain. And you're at that stage right now, aren't you? Yeah, it's just when you don't really know if you should push it or not. Yeah. We're coming now closer to the top of the ridge. I think Viv and I are gonna take slightly different lines this time. She might take the path of least resistance, understandably. <sighs> Hard work when there's no path. The ridge, the lake, Viv. All right, time to do this. I am literally about to take the path of most resistance. And you know what? Maybe it's not even gonna be the one of most resistance. And it's just gonna be the one that's most exposed. Hey. Can I just quickly? Yeah, yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I would, I would have done that. That was <laughs> yeah. a route I was going to yeah. take. <laughs> 
you know, one of the benefits of being in these places that you don't see people go through is that the rock isn't polished, which means the grip is actually quite good. How are you finding it so far, Viv? It's all right. How's your hype level? It's very beautiful. It is a nice, so far it's a nice walk, isn't it? Yeah. It's a beautiful walk. <laughs> <laughs> is this where you turn back? I think so. I enjoyed it. But I don't want to push it anymore. <laughs> Have fun, I'll see you shortly. Viv's hip started to act up and she took the wise decision to turn back not to push it anymore that she already did now uh, it's gonna come back she's gonna feel better soon enough and I'm gonna have my mountaineering partner back it's good because you've always got somewhere for your hands I'd say this is just the right level of danger Hello. Hi. Hi, cheers man. This is so unnecessary. The one thing I'm not so happy about is that there are a lot of people here that probably find this really challenging and are genuinely a bit afraid and they're trying to push themselves right now and here is this ass that decided to challenge himself to stay on the middle of the ridge and I'm just jumping in between probably making it look easy for them but in all reality for most people this isn't easy I think that must be the hardest bit over there <laughs> I think there's one a little bit more difficult coming up. Going up, yeah. I think it's that bit and then it should taper off. How are you guys finding it so far? That was the worst bit. That was quite scary for us that here. Yeah. Does, does it get any worse than that? I never been here before, but I just remember that they were talking about the crooks when I was reading. Yeah, yeah. And I think the crooks is somewhere there. Okay, okay. You can usually see where people are starting to slow down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well it was downhill so far. Now it's starting to be a bit of a scramble. Going all the way up this thing to the summit. I left all of my food with Viv. And of course she did say, just before she left me, she was like, do you want me to give you your sandwiches? And I was like, nah, it's gonna be all right. I'm gonna blitz through this. And then five minutes later, literally five, my stomach just goes like, What is the middle of the ridge here? That. When I chose to go in a straight line, in my mind, I was like, the ridge balancing on the stones is gonna be the hardest bit. I completely overlooked the fact that you need to go straight up on some dirt mound at some point. Like that. I wanted a technical challenge not the physical challenge <sighs> 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 
quite the view though. Yeah, it also looks like that's Hovland. I read about this. Beneath this spot were found in 1805 the remains of Charles Gull killed by a fall from the rocks. His dog was still riding the skeleton. Guiding, not riding. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I made something really sweet and <laughs> something really f***ing dark. Oh. Beautiful. I think that's the highest point over there. And then, that's my descent. Going through the ride there. Not the same without Viv. It looks like we have one more big kind of sharp ridge for the descent now. I'm not the only one who wanted to take the most challenging route down. <laughs> Cheers. You can't say you've done it unless you've done the edge. I know. <laughs> it's exactly my thinking as well. It's gliding. Oh my god. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Hi. How are you? <laughs> How was it without me? It was alright. Yeah? Yeah. I missed you. It's true. I'm so hungry. I know, I was thinking that. I was like, I'm hungry, you must be super hungry. <laughs> That's what it is. Yes. The next time you're gonna see us, we're gonna be in the Alps. We have some big mountains planned and a lot of high altitude. Yes. Honestly, quite an ambitious trip. But it's gonna be good.